Here it is. Here you go. This is my embassy? This is over here. Oh, there better at least be a couch in there, man. I can come all this way to crash on the floor. The methadone clinic is two doors down. <laughs> Say you're the prince. Watch him jump. I'm, uh... I'm Prince Torben. I heard you were in town. Why are you here? Well, uh... I just thought uh, maybe I'd swing by the old embassy because I'm the prince and stuff. Did your four-star hotel become weary of the boom, boom, boom that came from your room? No, this is there my... There is no need to name it. We all know what she is. Oh, okay. Listen here, buddy. No, yeah. my, my attaché. This is my attaché, <sighs> Jane. Now, if you don't mind, we've had a long night of performing diplomacy, and we're very tired. So, could you just show us to my quarters, please? There is a futon in the storeroom upstairs. Dibs. Oh, whatever. Hey, man, I'm not feeling too princely right now. You got any, uh... You ask for anything around? No. You got soda or something? No soda. We got some coffee. No, we ain't got any of the coffee! There's no coffee here! This embassy is better and help us as the backward country supports. No coffee. Where you going? Of course, I'm dismissed. It's fine. It's fine. My hopeless and starving family would like to see me. This is why we don't live in our crappy country. That attitude, national characteristic. You screwed us! While you and the nobles gorge yourselves and what little funds our country has, people have no infrastructure, no plumbing, no roads. And you sit in New York and drinking important champagne and eating oysters. While the people eat crust. I'm getting the picture here. Loud and clear. Could I possibly be so consumed with my clubbing and womanizing and my Prada shoe boots? Could it possibly be that I, Prince Torben, am a self-centered, egotistical, Euro-trash dick? Could be. My dad takes care of all the Moravia stuff. Well, listen. And there must be something that I, Prince Torben, could do to make up for all this. Well, hey, tell me, what would you do in my shoes, Mr. Righteous? There are a thousand things to do. Starting with foreign aid package. Listen, you could forego the excess of your lifestyle and completely overhaul the government. Mm, that's not what the humanitarian aid is for. How would you suggest going about doing something like that? If you see, if you see, I could show you. I, I have a plan. Sure, let me. What? <clears throat> I, right here. I say we take half the military budget or more, dump it into health education, and, and you're biggity bam, you're solid gold dancing, baby. Yeah. Exactly, my prince! No! No, not exactly! I haven't heard word one in this thing about my family's real estate taxes! What are you guys doing? Saving Moravia. Why would you keep it down? Okay. Hey, man. Back to business. Yeah. You know the word microbrewery? You guys, this is not gonna go over with these people. All right, it's very simple. Uh, this should just take a minute, really. You just need to sign a few forms, and the money will be automatically wired into your Swiss bank account, and we see you in a year. Yeah, listen, uh, we're gonna do this a little differently this time around. We're gonna forego the usual payoff, and we're gonna discuss a legitimate aid package for my country. Well, Prince Torben wouldn't do that. I have a, a standard package here. I'm not authorized to renegotiate it. Damn straight. That's right. Then get me someone in here who can. All right. 
moment, please. Yes. This is the only thing my dad ever asked me to do. He'll kill me. Your family doesn't need this money. Your broke-ass country does. I'd like to think that if you found that out before you died, you would want to do the same thing that I'm doing right now. Help your damn country. Yeah, but... Prince! Prince! I think they're coming back in! I must humbly ask you to not talk to yourself this way. It's not credible. Okay. Okay. You can shut off the Turkish elbow. What? The whole reason we get the money is to keep a bunch of oil flowing through this pipeline we have in Moravia. The Turkish elbow. If you shut it off, it'll take years to reroute around the country. <laughs> Prince Torben, I'm afraid you don't understand how things work around here. I regret to inform you that as of now, I'm prepared to offer you only your current aid package. I knew it. Yeah, I may not understand how these things work, but I do understand one thing. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Oh, you don't get it. I'm sorry. Let me explain. See, that's the principle that I'm going to employ when I shut off your oil pipeline that runs through my country. Yeah, you know, the pipeline that supplies your Western allies with crude? Your Turkish elbow is going to be nothing more than 1,500 miles of scrap metal. Everybody is going to wonder what the hell you did to piss Moravia off so bad. <laughs> Let me make a call. Okay. Yeah. So, in conclusion, sir, uh, we can not only provide enough hydroelectric power to support the new proposed industrial complex in, uh, in practice band, uh, but it will also allow for the irrigation of the entire Bordslav Valley, which, as I pointed out earlier, uh, could help modernize agriculture in Moravia, uh, and it will do so in a way that, it, that is not only cost-effective, but also environmentally sound. A very thorough proposal. Thank you. You thought of this? Well... Actually, um, our new prime minister here did most of it. He's gonna need a new suit. And if we give you the aid you're asking for, will the oil flow? <sighs> the oil will flow, yes. Kenny, can you drop the necessary papers? I did it. You did it. Prince Torben, you should be very proud. I am. You and your new prime minister, your credit to your country. Thank you. Uh, good luck. Late. You were perfect, your highness. It was all your idea, Mr. Prime Minister. <laughs> How about you just, uh, I don't know, name a street after me. I just may do that. Okay, this is Prince Torben passed out in Minneapolis. Vaughn and I took his pants off. <laughs> Moravian Embassy. Jay, hey, it's Scotty, guess what? We just got the foreign aid package. Yeah. It's the Prince. Well, congratulations. I'm a hero. I'm a national hero, baby. <laughs> okay, where are you? We have a show tonight. No, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm going to the airport right now. The airport? Yeah, yeah. They're throwing a huge party for me in Moravia. I can't blow these guys off. No, no, you're not going to Moravia. Yes, I then, am. Uh, we, uh, we're going for a sandwich. Uh, I, I, right do you now. want a sandwich? No. I just saved a freaking country. I think I deserve it. And uh, I'll talk to you later, all right? Bye. <laughs> to Moravia. Yes, I thank you. My country thanks you. I thank you, man. Moravia wants you. 
Yes, your tax dollars. Hard at work, everybody. You heard it here. Moravia forever. Yeah, thanks to you and you. It's all good, especially you. Yeah. Moravia number one. Moravia number one. Wait a minute. Don't I get a palace, man? I'm a prince. <laughs> no, palace was destroyed many years ago. You would get a nice apartment, sort of like uh, the embassy. You don't happen to have any upgrades for royalty, do you? <laughs> That's how it all starts. It's just a question. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, we don't bore you, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go take a break. Yeah, see you. Are you guys okay? We have to hurry. Yeah. I don't want to be the prince anymore. I don't want to be a prince, do you understand me? I'm just a drummer. No, I'm just a drummer. I'm a drummer. Who cares? You can be the prince. No one will know the difference. Emil, go without him. It's your plan. You have the aid package. You don't need him at all. Prince. His name is Scotty. Scotty. No one in my country is fun like you. We need more than money. No, Neil, you can do this. You know you can, all right? You don't need me. You can call me whenever and I'll give you new fun ideas, okay? Now go on, you big lug. Come on, you can do this. Get in. <laughs> okay. Take it easy, man. Take care, man.